Who would win in a battle between you and Eminem? Me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't know, you know, because Em, like, he comes from an era where it was only the, like, pyramid-style battles, and then he was battling on record, so, like, this, like, three rounds, three minutes, unlimited time, like, you got to write a whole album and rap a whole album's worth of material, like, it's not really his thing, but he's one of the greatest, most adaptable, diverse MCs of all time, you know, so it would be tough, it would be tough. I, I, I would win because if I was stepping into a ring with Eminem, even if I got murdered, it would be a win for me, you know what I mean? Because I would be on a the, the world stage, you know? What approach would you, how would you prepare? Let's say <laughs> this was scheduled. Man. How would you prepare for a battle with Eminem? You know, I would, I would probably like study him and study what he's done and study his old battle tapes and study where he's at now and make sure that I could do his style like either better than him or like when he was at his best so that I could have that as a tool and then try to come up with my own thing because I think when you can when you can show that somebody's style is like easy and you can just use that against them mm -hmm. and then you can come with your own approach um, yeah, but I'd have to think about it for a while and be creative. You know, would, it wouldn't just be punchlines. You know, what would be the ideal situation? Like, where where would you would rather like? What's the arena you want to be on? You know, what for that battle or for, for any battle? battle? No, just what a battle with M. Let's say yeah. you want to have the, the size favor to you, and it's kind of hard. I think the ideal battle. situation for that would be like Freeway Cassidy. Would be like we're in Cali in the studio with Dr. Dre, or we're in Detroit, and it's like you know five of my people's, five of his people's, and there's no crowd, there's no reactions. It's just back-to-back -back lyricism, you know? Because I think in front of a crowd, it just doesn't, it's not gonna work, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, I, and I, think, <laughs> I think the rawness of the Cassidy Freeway battle was like, it was like, um, it, it's like a snuff film. It's like something you're not supposed to see, yeah. you know what I mean? It's like, the reason you drive by car crashes and everybody slows down, it's because you're getting an insight into, into a room that you're not allowed to be in, into a situation that you've never been a part of, you know what I mean? So I right, think right. that, like, I would want to recreate the rawness of that and have it be like, shitty camera in a, in a studio, you know, like, bad sound quality, you know? <laughs>